Our presenter is Anastasia Siaereva. She's somebody that runs her own business, because the art space, but she didn't begin her career as an artist. She used to work in the, as a lawyer in the past and did a number of very corporate things, but then moved on to art, which is a bit of a, of a theme for many of our presenters today. She runs team building art session based around putting art together. And she has an interesting way to go about art because it's, um, it's a little bit free flowing. It's quite abstract and it, it's quite cool and quite creative because you know, when you start, you start with, as every masterpiece begins with a blank sheet, but you don't know where you begin. She's also a very energetic person. She, she's standing very proudly in front of one of our recent masterpieces called Arctic Corrosion, which is, looks like uh, something <laughs> based in the Arctic with a bit of, uh, of corrosion as well. It is a nice piece okay. of art. It's beautiful uh, because I named it myself. I found the name Arctic Corrosion. I have trademarked it. And Anastasia is paying me royalties to use that name. We need to think about this arrangement, by the way. I'm kidding, of course. Now... We're going to have a bit of fun. Let's give it all the way from Vilnius, Lithuania, to the master of abstract art, the one and only Anastasia Sjaerila. Woo! <laughs> That's massive. Thank you very much. Hello, everyone, dear guests, dear colleagues. Yes, that's right. Now it's time for fun. Well-deserved fun. During our previous workshops, you got some stars next to your names. It just meaning that you have right to tell me what to do. And what I'm doing, I'm doing a piece of abstract art, the space where everyone can find themselves and name it whatever they want. The one you see behind, it's pretty abstract and pretty meaningful because when I offered people to name it, I got a lot of, a lot of versions of that and they all were right and probably meaning something, obviously meaning something for the people who named it this way. Um, a year ago, we tried the first time this fun workshop. People were also involved and they created this one very piece. Can you see that? But today I have changed the rules. Yeah, yeah, like that. Today um, we are going to, to apply some colors on this canva. Uh, what I use uh, creating the artworks. It calls mixed media technique, so anything can be useful. And today, as it's lunch time, the dinner, uh, the table is served. You can see forks and knives and spoons and little, you know, uh, uh, little, <laughs> you know, little cups and uh, and plates, um, sponsoring by my daughter. And now it's up to you to tell me what to do. Let's start with colors. Uh, here, I probably need a little help from our Zoom master, um, unless uh, any one of you just raise your hand and name the color you like. And then we pull, fill in our palette here, our plates with some colors and I have everything. Just tell me what is your favorite one? Blue, okay, I see that. Um, actually, I prefer you to speak it loud we practice in public speaking, so please express your opinions loudly in voice. Okay, Orange. Got blue. Orange. Orange. Vol great. Violet. Oh, okay, great. Orange and violet. Okay, I do have it. It's just like that. And then violet. I do have it right there, but I have it. Great. Then, what else we have? Yellow. Of course, we need yellow. Mm -hmm. We do have yellow like that what else violet yellow blue that's it I think there um, need to be some greens eat your greens your five a day <gasps> okay my greens you know i'm gonna mix it it's mixed media so i'm very welcome to mix it myself okay what else um in this area we have not only just paints but we also have sprays it's a lot of fun to to apply them uh, and when you have the moment to tell me apply them, I'll do that for you. Here we have colors blue, green, pink, yellow, and black, also white, just for your information. What else? 
Okay, and everything else, you just see we have some options. So when you feel so, you just tell me, pick another one. And now I'd like some of you tell me what to, what, what tool to, uh, to use for that, for the first strokes on this Canva. Here I have kitchen sponges. It's a kitchen. Um, here I have lots of rolls. Not the kitchen, yeah, but I think still, we should use the roll, here. Anna. Okay. Spoon, spoon, okay. First roll, then spoon. Speaking about the roll, color. Ah, by the way, you see this Canva, it's, it's not just regular uh, artistic uh, uh, Canva, it's a challenge for me myself. It's a plastic texturized palette. Okay, let's use it. So speaking about roll, do you mind? Red, fluorine? I don't, uh, yeah, why not? You don't care. <laughs> okay, okay. You see a lot of very generous, we have this celebration moment. We I have thought fun. it's ketchup. Oh. <gasps> right, right. That's right. That's right. And that you see, it's, it's working beautifully. Nice layer of ketchup. And uh, then, guys, uh, mustard, anyone? Yes, please. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there needs to On be mustard the with uh -huh. the ketchup, always. And always, just, exactly. Okay. Always. Okay. Okay, I have it. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay, so far I have ketchup, I have mustard. Actually, it's a gold and acrylic. Uh, they were a very light shadow. Um, but I knew it. Oh, a lot. That's, that's like a proper French yeah, mustard. that's beautiful. You know, the process is beautiful itself. I like to take pictures, these snippets, every time when I'm working on that. The Canva, uh, the situation is changing all the time. Beautiful moments, they're disappearing on the next layers. So, enjoy the process. I'm enjoying. So it was our mustard. And then you say you need some Maya, right? Okay, it's here. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's like that. Mm -hmm. Just on the side, okay. Florian, just on the side. <laughs> Just on the side. <laughs> it looks like it's light, Maya. It's nothing, nothing heavy there. It's an easy color. Okay, this way, you see, we just have started a very powerful statement we made. That's our background. And since we use acrylics for this work, we can change this situation to some, something radically different. This paint allows to make mistakes Experiment a lot. The result will be every time what you want. Okay. Ah, okay, good. We applied three colors. We used rolls. I heard spoon. Uh, please tell me what I should... Yes. Yeah, well, I have spoons. Violet just... color to spoon. Okay, violet. Spoon of violet. Mm -hmm. Like that. Oh, <laughs> yeah, 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 like that, like that, <gasps> that's nice, that's okay, it's beautiful. And the spoon, uh, this is like, yeah, it's a way, my favorite tool, honestly, this one. But if I don't have it uh, clean or just next to me, I use the cutlery, so the spoon like that. Uh, at this stage, I'm not thinking about the composition. I'm just applying the colors. Uh, it's very important. Just express, you know, some emotions, gestures, apply the body language whole way on this stage. And then later, after the break, you can think to take a nice pose, like we practiced today during our local variety workshop, and uh, and and head, head to some balanced conclusion and final statement. But so far, we just expressing our body language. So what else? Maybe forks? Or maybe too early? Let's try some forks with yes. yellow. Can we go with yellow? Yeah. Yes, we, we need can. some meat there. We need some brown sizzling meat. <laughs> oh, brown sizzling no, meat. That's, it's that's too late now veggie. for colors. <laughs> let's go with no. veggie. The veggie. Okay, wait. I see that you still want to express yourself full way, not thinking about consequences. It's like you're very hungry, so let's use some meat, some sugar, what's not. Uh, tomorrow will be tomorrow. I see, I see, okay. You don't, you, uh, no, but no, anyway, no meat and sugar. You don't mix meat and sugar. 
guys, on this stage, you can get crazy. As I said, this one is just to great raw content to work with later. Be brave. So I heard something about fork and, and uh, yellow. Okay, Anna, if I do yellow this way, you see, this way, and then I'm using the fork to make these lines more interesting. Nice, I like it. And still, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's just, you just do that and see how the lines, they transformed. What I like about using unusual tools that, um, that, that the result of these motions, you know, these moves, uh, you can never re repeat the, the same with pencils and fine pens. The way the um, paints traces, you just, you just see what is going on here. Uh, later you, you'll get uh, that balance, but now you just, you just, you know, just observing that. Sometimes getting shocked, but again, Acrylics allows to cover uh, what we have with something new without any mm, uh, dirty traces, I say. Okay, so it was yellow and fork. What else? Greenery, I heard. Can I use for the greenery this Green. kitchen kitchen brush? <laughs> Ooh, nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Also, when you use these unusual tools, it allows your brain to work uh, more... What the word? You must have public speaking. What the word? A brave. Um, Becomes more creative. Right. Yes. Why? Why we should invent the bicycle? Yeah, creativeness. Daring. You just mix something new with something new. Uh, you get new result. That's how it's supposed to work, <laughs> probably. So I have uh, green here. Uh, I don't know how you see it through the camera. On my table, it looks like a salad. Indeed. Okay. But still, um, still uh, the final result uh, uh, probably is going to be different like this one. Myself, uh, if I switch on this critic mode, I would question this composition and choose, choose, um, choice of colors. But again, it's not about that. Now we just play in the tools. We have used kitchen brush, the roll, some cutlery, garden fork. We haven't uh, used that. Let's leave it for a bit later for balancing stage. We haven't used the sprays. Please, um, now I'd like to encourage uh, one of you to show me direction where I can apply some circles made of baby, sir, baby, baby cups. Maybe James, as, as he woke up. In the, in James. Somewhere, somewhere in the middle, but but off, a little off the center. Okay, I see. Uh, um, morning, morning, James, cup of cappuccino or espresso for you? In the center, you say? Yeah, a little off the center. A little off the center. A little, little off the center. Okay, like, like, like here, probably. Let's put it here. Uh, when, when actually I'm using these um, um, shapes to cover the most, uh, the most controversial places where I have mixture of colors, which is not very beautiful. Then I use some like something like shape. Today we have the circles to cover the beautiful sp spots, uh, and then we spray, um, spray on not so beautiful. So you say. Okay, this one is beautiful. Here I have nice collocation of colors, so it's covered. And the second is to be protected, I think it's this one. And the rest, you see what I'm doing? I'm just using the white spray to cover something that's not so interesting. Ah, oh, why? Okay, it's brand new bottle. Brand new bottle. Okay. Okay, I'm good. We're doing that. You see? Okay, it's spray. It's also a remedy. And uh, up. Now I have something. Okay. Oh, it looked like oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> to you, it looks like all. <laughs> yeah. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, we can, uh, you know, now if you have uh, some stars uh, next to your name, you can fight for this idea and uh, tell me what to do to make this image more holy, if you want. So we use sprays, some shapes, that's nice. If you look at this picture now, um, it's probably to you too balanced, there is no center. Yeah, we have two eyes, but still no center. Um, I would add some dark color, like black or uh, brown. Like black. Okay, I hear black. you. Oh, brown, black. I, I, okay, I have it. Let's try use black and then shapes again. And uh, here, for example, we can again be uh, creative and use some shapes, which is given as a tools, but still it also can be used as shapes. You see, I have a very mm, an accurate. No, this one is my favorite. <laughs> you cannot cover it with like uh, the brush. When I'm doing that, I'm thinking where I have too balanced area, too even. So it could be here. Um, then maybe one more here. And then I can use black spray. Okay, do I have, we have time. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, look. I can control the contrast of the future lines with applying more or less this, this powder. Mm -hmm. Okay. I have something. You have something. Wow, nice. Yeah, it surprises every time. What is beautiful about this this technique that it's it's surprising itself. What I have to take here, it's just about the balance. So there is no. Mm, but maybe sometimes I need to un unbalance something. That's uh, by, by the mood. Um, first of all, what I'm doing creating these pieces after I have created some raw layout. I'm removing dirty spots, which is not uh, very aesthetically nice, uh, brownish or grayish or too sad. I'm just uh, covering them with something pure. And then it just transformed into something beautiful and meaningful to me. And also have automatically I have a story behind, like it was something very bad, but now look, it's so beautiful, a happy end every time. Um, yeah, happy end every time. That's that's right. That's what we am doing. Uh, let's use some other sprays. You see, now it's nice. I like it, but we still have some space to add some funny elements, and I have some more sprays. Just for your information. <laughs> well, uh, um. You can, you, can do, <laughs> no? you can do another cappuccino, but on the edge of the frame you can you can maybe two thirds onto the picture a cappuccino oh i like it uh okay tell me what to do right left and spray Towards around. myself uh, uh mm -hmm. oh 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 go towards you more oh Look. it's leaking it's dropping oh what i'm doing mm -hmm. something beautiful happens again but what i should do what do you say you want one more circle, James? Yeah, yeah, but uh, yeah, and it would be um, more towards, uh, more on the edge, where there's a lot of white on the edge, you'll notice, maybe. Ah, here, here. here. Yeah, but you, but, but some of the cup, of, you don't want a full cappuccino, you want it maybe two thirds circle. Oh, huh, that's very. Why did you drink uh... a cappuccino? <laughs> Okay. It's only for the. Um... This one, this one, this one. Look, yeah, yeah, this one. Okay. Yeah, that one. Here. Here. Yeah. yeah. yeah okay. But, here. But okay. More, but close to the edge, maybe a little bit. Uh, on look the... what I look. Look what I'm doing. I can use the shape not just as a circles, but also uh, uh, like that. Yeah. Huh? Mm -hmm. Do you know about that? I mean, oh. I can I can do this and right. here. And here, okay, no, no Olympic, Olympic Games, it's over, but like you that. Can you can blend. You see? Yeah. 
Yeah, we, right. It's beautiful. And when you blend the colors, which is so generously put on the canvas with these knives, I love. Then I um, get some new traces and lines, colorful, rainbowish sometimes. And nobody can repeat it, just drawing or painting it by hand deliberately. And that picture, mm -hmm. if, you, if you were to put that up on the wall, the way that I see it, I, I don't I, – for me, I might have a different perception of the top of the picture. Mm -hmm. words, if you put that oh. on the wall, mm -hmm. how do you decide – how do you decide what is the top? What is what is and right? This is, yes. And uh. this is very right observation. Uh, when it looks kind of filled in the whole canva and you uh, you're not sure what to do next. Yes. Then you take the picture canva it, and try to rotate it to imagine if it's like finalized, finished. Uh, what is the dominating side? Also very nice trick to go to the mirror and look at this picture looking at the reflection. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it also helps to understand where are you. Uh, so far, honestly, I don't think it's finished. So you're right. Um, but let's just have a couple of uh, moments and I don't see means. No, uh, let's just think about what 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 can be done. What do you think? Uh, okay, I'll, I have to. I have to. <laughs> That's hard. Where is the? Oh, oh. Ah, uh? no. Here, oh, okay. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. That's hard. Yeah. Um. Uh, could you please speak up and tell? What do you think about that? I think you miss. Uh, is, is it necessary is to have all the different colors? Because I I noticed that there's no real blue. There's ah, no, yeah. No, no blue. blue. No blue. blue. You miss you miss blue. You could have a little bit of blue. Uh huh. Okay. Where? And it it could be like drops or like like like. Drops. Like, nice. Like yeah, I think we should drop. have a splash. Like splash. Some, yeah. uh, as if something had dropped, like a big drop of blue and yeah. splash uh -huh. all over. Oh well, but so far it looks like very uh, very tasty salad with a lot of pepper to me on, on this uh, side of the camera. Uh, the blue, that's fusion. Okay, we can do that. Okay, I, I have some blue, right? And uh, I have the blue. It was picked uh, as a color wow. among the first ones. It was the first. Okay, I'll just tell you. I'll show you how, how it can be done. Usually, in my kitchen generously on the brush the brush must be very and uh, um, the perfect one oh, oh, very breezy like that uh, no, no, like that it's just, just the perfect tool for, for making splashes but i picked one it's also fine and now the moment of uh, i don't know <laughs> i never know <laughs> okay Okay, yeah. <laughs> it's my kitchen. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you see? I'm just doing this way. It's heavy, it's mushy, uh, this paint. Yeah, yeah, like that. Oh, ah. okay, now I sense it. Yeah. And when I see very fine lines, I will never be able to repeat them using just regular tools. Now you know what? Now, now these spots they're dominating. Look what you have done. And they're dominating because they're so different comparing to the background. Okay, look. Mm. Are you happy now? Yeah. <laughs> mm. Oh, yeah. when I'm look when I look at this picture, I don't like the green colors we have here because they're from different part of the spectrum uh, of the color wheel. And um, at this stage, where we're really heading towards finalization of the canva to, to the, the final balance, I'm going to myself without you telling me what to do. I'm going to remove these uh, green spots from all over because they are too confusing. You know, before it was salad, but now it's something different. And uh, you made me do that. Mm. But I'll help you to, <laughs> but I'll help you to, to make it uh, beautiful in the end. So what I'm doing now, wiping my hands, 
Oh, by the way, hands are also great tool to use it, uh, to use uh, to apply. Yeah. Um, I want I want to remove these um, green spots. They are too warm uh, to this picture. And uh, here, I'm probably gonna use violet. It just feels so. Violet and blue. Uh -huh. And you see here, what I'm doing. Here I have very nice corner. I don't want to destroy these nice pieces of um, red, uh, no, you know, ketchup and mayo, all that. Uh, and blue is beautiful, but green I want to remove. So I am covering this part with my plate. And okay, let's see. Of course, white would work much better. Where is my white here? Mm -hmm. It's like fresh beginning again. Mm -hmm. Okay, and here we have these beautiful circles, so it's a tweak. And here. Okay. Each time you do a painting like this, it's a new experience. What? Oh, now it's too wide. <laughs> we need to start from the beginning. No, no, we don't. We don't because because we have these beautiful forks uh, and knives, so we can spread. Other okay, green again. Hello. <laughs> uh, oh well. Okay. I was thinking about uh, the violet. So what I'm doing? I'm using just the knife. Apply the color here, and then just spread it like butter on the bread. So it goes along, taking some other layers with, uh, with, you know, with it. Yes, I still see this green. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't want to see this green. I heard about blue. I heard, I heard about spoon. Where is our coffee? Mm -hmm. It was white. Okay, I'm just doing this way. Hello, coffee. Okay, very very good let me just drive in towards something orange and blue we have some you know, some pieces of story from the past green here but this is story we have to respect it mm -hmm. okay still want to buy some violet here it was fun Mm -hmm. Like that. Let me show you that. Probably you want to have some uh, center here again. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. Oh, we need orange, right? Yeah, we need more orange. Yeah, catch you back. Mm -hmm. This canva uh, now can consist of many colors underneath. It's heavy now. Like old house, full of stories and feelings. And none of them are pleasant, but still happy end. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. How does it look? It looks strange. I want to make this pot is lighter. I'm using this. 
Uh -huh. Okay. And this one is too heavy again. So I'm just going to do this. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And uh, I see that if I retain this canva, then you might find uh, the a center of the best, the best. Um, you know, uh, just mm -hmm. to help me to find out this center, look at the, um, uh, at the screen where you can see also me. So it can be this way, or it can be this way. Definite points also interesting. Looks this way. Let's, yes. let's find out together wh where is the bottom of this picture, and then we'll use it as a, as a point to finalize. I, I like how it is now. That could be good. Like that's almost like looking up at the sky and some trees. Ah. Oh, right. Like you on the ground and you see the forest of uh, knives and forks, uh huh, and the sky. Maybe this one. Um, also like the, the pre this one. No, no, not this one. The, the, the other one. Yes, this one. The cosmic one. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Okay, the cosmic one. Um, we can vote for that. Yeah, I like that. Now, uh, I'd, I'd like to hear somebody who said, no way. <laughs> <laughs> My hands are full. I cannot moderate this voting, but just if you if if you if you have someone just completely opposing that, I, I'd like to hear this voice. All good. Using this one. Okay, we're using this one. And for you, okay, it's here, here, here. It should be. No, no, no. This way. I just want to to serve you the best. Okay, so here. This is the way you see it, or opposite. Ah, oh, it's. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Ah. Okay. 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 Um, let's agree. This part is the top, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. To me, it's the top as well. Fine. Okay. Uh, so to make the top lighter, I'm gonna use the white color and maybe some splashes. And now I'm just making final, final, final moves. I have very friendly thick. Uh -huh, white. Uh -huh. So, uh, since you see some forest elements here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you that. So we have some leaves. We have some roots. Just give it to me. You know. Okay. Sometimes tools are resistant. Mm -hmm. Silly sometimes so, like and across, across my pictures and you know it adds as mm -hmm. well some new marks as well. So you mm -hmm. need to So uh, you have the sky here, and then we have uh, some plants growing to the sky, to the space. And here again we can add some of the stars, some light elements here. After this workshop, I'm going to occupy my camera, I'll take off shorts, pictures of different parts. Because I know that the camera cannot, uh, doesn't allow you to see uh, the same way I can perceive the picture here in real, in real table. Um, then to make this part heavier, I'm going to use black. It's probably going to be the last the very last, very generous paint applications. Okay. And just to make it, I'm not very sure about this orange spot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, like that. Uh, again, the final the final request for me um, or, or question: Do you want any splashes? How do you feel about it? Oh, and you see what is going on now. You see? Okay. Myself, I feel that I need uh, to stop and to let this Canva to rest. And then what is going on later? 
uh, within this very day of our festival, I'll clean up the table. I'll look again at this Canva. I'll, I'll add a couple of final applications of art. And then I'll share the final picture with you. So far, to me, it looks balanced from the point of view colors and composition. But when it just will be a bit rested here, uh, I'll definitely will see something else. It's normal uh, taking into account the, the acrylics. Usually, it opens more within the time, hour or two. OK. Let me present the artwork you have created together with me. This one, this one, the Canva. Mm. Okay, Florian, over to you. 